Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a thermal camera from Top Dawn. Uh, it will connect right to my Android phone and it should be able to show me uh, a visual of all the temperatures that I'm always working with. So let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so here we go. And open the box. All right, and it looks like it comes in its own case. And then underneath, uh, I believe, is the user manual. And it, and it does have a uh, QR code, so you can uh, go to an online user manual. And this looks like it's just kind of like a quick, a quick, uh, quick step reference on how to do it. And it looks like we can connect it to our PC or our Android phone. Uh, with this model, and I don't know if they make other models, but this only connects to PCs or Android phones. It has to be connected through a, a USB-C port. Okay, and that's what it looks like. It's pretty small, which is nice. So here is the camera. And like I said, it's pretty small, and it just connects right to the USB-C port on your phone. And then we also have a cable which this is, I believe, oh wow, this is actually pretty nice. It's a, uh, a USB-C female to a USB-A adapter, and it also has a quick connect, which is a, a USB-C uh, male adapter. So it's pretty much like an extension cord, which is kind of nice. And then it looks like it has a, oh, like a, a, lens, a lens cleaner. So let's go ahead and just connect it to the phone and see what happens. Okay, uh, and I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm gonna be using this mainly on my phone. I probably won't be using it on the PC uh, really at all. So what, first, of, first of all, I wanna know, do I need to take this case off? It's a real thin case. Here, let me take it off real quick. I mean, this case is super thin. So I'm hoping I won't need to take it off in order to use this thermal camera. But we'll see. And also, I'm surprised that they have a QR code here. Uh, and it says, for detailed user manual, please scan the QR code. But they don't have a QR code anywhere uh, that takes me directly to the, the download of the app. So I'm kind of surprised by that. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, first we need to download the app. So it says to go to Google Play, and I'm gonna type in TC001. So let's just do that. Okay, and when you type in uh, TC001, uh, here is what you get. And I'll go ahead and put my, uh, my phone screen on the screen so you can see it. And this is the Top Dawn app that we need. So let's go ahead and click Install. All right, and then we'll go ahead and just click on Open to see what happens. Okay, allow TC001 to send you notifications. And I don't see why we need notifications, so I'm going to say don't allow. Okay, I agree to the policy, the policy, I agree to the private policies in terms of service. Um, allow TCC01 to take pictures and record video. Yes, I do. And allow it to access my photos. I do want that as well. So then it says, if the device cannot be detected, please search for the OTG in settings and turn it on. Okay, uh, we have a thermal imager, so let's go ahead and click on that. And it says the device is not connected, so let's go ahead and connect it. And I want to face it away from the screen. So let's go ahead and just push it in. Okay, after a little bit of... Uh, soul searching and wondering why I couldn't get this to work, I found out it's the port on my phone is very touchy. Uh, so if I took my case off and I connected the top down, now it connects. So let me, uh, you can see in the upper right corner, you can, uh, I'll do a screen grab, uh, but you can see in the upper right corner right here that it shows connected. Uh, so what you do is you just click on your thermal imaging. And there it is. So let me just kind of look around for a second. 
And as you can see, there's not much that's uh, that's different around here, I guess you could say. Okay, I'm just looking around and we'll go ahead and shine it right at the camera. And you can see the hot spots on the camera. On the right hand side, you can see that there is a range of temperature from 31 degrees Celsius to 21. So it kind of shows you the range and what the colors mean. Uh, on mine, you know, since I live in uh, North America, I want to switch it over to Fahrenheit. So to do that, Oh, you have to go, you have to exit out of this and then go to personal information down here at the bottom and uh, there are your temperature units right here and then we'll switch it over to Fahrenheit. And then also you have your temperature correction just in case uh, it's not correct. Um, you have your clear cache in case something is going wrong. And then you have your frequently asked questions and your manuals. So let's go ahead and switch it back and turn on the thermal imaging. And now it shows it in, uh, in Fahrenheit. So in right here, you can see that the temperature of the camera is 91 degrees and the temperature on the wall is 70. So that kind of tells you that the camera is getting hot just from being used. And then my son just walked in and there he is. <laughs> So all in all, this, uh, this Top Gun works very well. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to be using it a lot for when I'm testing batteries and power stations to show you the heat. Uh, but for right now, what I'm going to show you is just a couple more of the options that are underneath. Uh, if you click on the camera, uh, it, it enables you to either take a video or a uh, picture of the thermal image. I guess if you, if you click on the crosshairs, it's, let's see, if we click on line, nice. Okay, so what these do is they make it so you can select a certain spot on the screen. And then you can just delete it by hitting delete, but you can hit dot and you can see the temperature. Like I wanna see the temperature of the camera, so I just hit dot and it shows me right there. If I wanna do a line, let me delete it. If I wanna do a line, I can just bring it down and it shows me the temperature ranges of that line and that's it. If you do a plane, it does like a box. So it only takes a, it only takes temperatures of what's inside the box from highest to lowest. And then full image is just uh, everywhere. Okay, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I'm sorry I had some issues trying to get this thing to work, but it turns out it was just the port on my phone is kind of janky. So uh, if you have any questions about the Top Dawn, uh, was it the TC001 thermal imaging camera for Android and Windows, uh, please leave them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.